our approach is comprehensiveness. And what we mean by that is a variety of things. One is we want to start with getting very detailed paperwork, which by the way is rarely done. You know, in a conventional medicine model with insurance, you can have one complaint and that's it. That's what insurance wants, one complaint. Now here's the problem. Let's, get, let's say a patient has edema and they have swelling in the legs and hypertension, high blood pressure. Well, that's their chief complaint. Now here's the thing. How many of those patients have blood sugar problems, hormonal imbalances, autoimmune disease, and they don't even know it? Well, that's the norm. So what we do here is much more comprehensive than that. So if that patient that we're talking about has uh, high blood pressure, edema, weight gain, and all these other emotional problems, and sleep, and low libido, and all these problems, and they say, okay, well, here's a blood pressure drug. We're going to give you a diuretic, which is going to leach your minerals, but we're not going to tell you that. It's going to leach fluid out through urine, and you're going to lose a lot of minerals and electrolytes, but we won't tell you that either. What we're going to treat with this, and it'll help your blood pressure and your edema. Is it good medical care to proceed do that? Well, can we not offer more medical, more comprehensive care? So what I mean by that is, yes, it's important to manage the blood pressure, but why do they have swelling, weight gain, and edema? It could be thyroid, it could be adrenal, it could be hormone, it could be autoimmune, it could be nutritional based. We need to look at all these underlying things of what could actually be causing it. So if we send a patient out, we say, oh, just take a blood pressure drug, even if it can control their blood pressure, if the patient is still overweight, low libido, exhausted, has all these, other, all these other symptoms, that is not comprehensive care. That is piecemeal care. That's cookie cutter care. And that's the norm in conventional medicine, unfortunately. And it really is not, it's not actually the clinician's fault. It's just the way, it's just the umbrella of corporate healthcare. So what we do, the first thing we start off is very thorough paperwork. Then if I accept their case, then we move into very thorough lab testing, which insurance-based medicine is not going to cover. And that's fine because the patient has to prioritize their own health. Then once we get all their, their testing back, which is usually a mixture of hormones, saliva, really thorough blood work, and sometimes GI testing, stool exam if necessary, and if that's appropriate, then we move forward their big exam here, which is the program design, and then we start improving their pathways and improve an organ function. Then they also start with a curriculum approach, what we call the wellness curriculum, which is they learn about nutrition, detoxification, uh, exercise and fitness, and we even have classes on things such as um, shopping so that people understand what they're putting on their body. Is it gonna help them get healthy? Is it gonna keep them sick? We need to help them understand on a very foundational level how we get people better and, and, and what's good for them and what's not good for them. What is good for one person may not be good for another person. So we have to individualize care. And conventional medicine is very far from individualized care. It's really very cookie cutter care.